When the first Europeans reached shore after their long and uncomfortable passage from the other side of the world, their relief was quickly tempered by the hills that towered in front of them. Such hills could hardly be more unlike the fertile plains they'd been promised. In 1850, these new immigrants, with their heavy possessions and treasures from home, saw the pulled hills as one more daunting obstacle to overcome, and that was all. The pioneers of the first ships, encouraged by 19th century developers, the Canterbury Association, had ambitions not held by Māori, the indigenous people of the land. Māori used natural resources freely, fishing in the Littleton Harbour and harvesting plants and birds from the port hills. They travelled over these hills to the wetlands and the plains beyond, and the Coomera Gardens in the warmer north. Their boundaries were seasons, not fences. But the colonists knew that mechanisation, commerce and many more settlers were on the way. For them, the Port Hills were an expanse of potential farmland to contain and make use of, to feed their growing city. It took many years before the people of Christchurch began to appreciate how much more than mutton, beef and dairy the Port Hills had to offer them.